Good evening guys, I hope you're all having a lovely week. Tonight I am actually hosting, so my work day has literally just finished and I've got some of my best, best friends coming around this evening. It's actually a super chilled one, they're going to come round, we're going to order some takeaway, but even on the evenings when it's super relaxed and people come around to visit, I always still like to make my space look nice. Honestly, if you have seen any of my other videos, you'll know that even when it's just me by myself, I love to make my space look nice. But I thought I'd show you when I am hosting and when I've got people coming around, some of the ways in which I think are super easy and really quick and can completely transform your space if you're hosting. So that's what we're gonna do this evening. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite ways to get my space ready and then just spend the evening with my friends. And I'm so, so excited. I haven't seen some of them in ages. So I'm really looking forward to catching up with them. Like I said, I've been working all day. So this is gonna be a very quick turnaround. I've literally stuck some jeans on. Let me show you quickly what I'm wearing because I just love this outfit. It's like so easy, but so comfortable. So first of all, these jeans, I mean, I just think they're the best jeans in the whole world. They are slightly flared and they're from Free People. They've got these stars on the bum, which I just think are so fun. I just absolutely love them. The only thing about them that is obviously ridiculous is that yeah, you're all gonna think I'm crazy now, but you have to dry clean them because otherwise I've, I saw reviews that basically said the color from the stars can run. So they advise getting them dry cleaned. So I'm aware it's ridiculous to dry clean jeans, but they're so nice and they're so comfortable and they fit my bum and my waist nicely, which I find really hard. So it's worth it. And then, this top, which if you saw my video where I was talking about the Abercrombie order that got ripped into and half my stuff was missing, this was one of the tops that was missing and they've now shipped out to me. And it's so good. It's so comfortable. The quality feels incredible. It is quite pricey for like a basic top, I guess. It's six, I think it was about 60 pounds, but again, so comfortable and I think it's worth investing in more high quality basics and this definitely feels like one of them. It's also got this wrap detail over the front so it's kind of like a band style over the front which I think is a little bit different so I love it. But anyway yes this is what I'm wearing. Um, again it's a super chilled night tonight but let's get going with making the space feel nice before everyone gets here in about 40 minutes so not long to go. Okay let's go let's go. Okay, so the first thing, and to be honest, I think the biggest thing when it comes to making your space feel nice is lighting. I think lighting dictates everything. It dictates the mood, the ambience, the vibe, and it's so easy to get right. I think lighting is just so quick and simple. It slightly drives me insane when I go into space and the lighting is bad. To me, the easiest way to get that cozy evening, celebrating something nice vibe in your home is just turn off all overhead lighting. Overhead lighting does not belong in a nice, comfortable, cozy evening, slightly luxurious space, it just doesn't. Turn off all your overhead lights and just use lamps and candles. And I promise you, it will make such a difference. So with that being said, let's light my space, ready for my friends to get here.
then my next favorite thing is honestly if i had a home as i've said before i would absolutely have my own fireplace going i think there's just nothing like a natural fireplace i think it's so so nostalgic and wonderful but in the meantime when i don't have one i'm loving choosing one of these ambient scenes every day or as, as, as often as i feel in the mood for one of these lovely ambient scenes from YouTube. So this one I have just found, it's very cute. It's got a roaring fire. There's like a snowy blizzard outside the window. And it's just like a really cozy room. And I just think it is quite a cute thing to look at. I mean, I do sometimes just have a fireplace and to be honest, it would probably be a little bit more chic, I guess, or elegant to just have just a fireplace on the screen, but I don't know, I think there's something quite cute about being able to see another living room and it's just a little bit more interesting. And I think this one, see look, they've got their lighting. Oh no, there's an, oh no, is that a lamp? No, that's a proper overhead light. Okay, fine. You're allowed overhead lighting if you have incredible, giant, gorgeous chandeliers, but until then, it's just candles and fireplaces. I mean, how cute is this one? I'll link some of my favorite ones down below because I know a couple of you have asked, so, I'll put in some of my favorite autumn ones and then I'll put really in some of my favorite wintery edging into Christmas ones. Cause to me, this one's perfect. There isn't like a Christmas tree in it because to me, I don't really go full on Christmas till December. I like to prep beforehand, but you've still kind of got the snow. So you're starting to get those Christmassy vibes. Yeah, I love it. <sighs> okay, so the next thing for me is making sure that I've got a stocked fridge. Ooh, we've just seen how blue I've gone. It's making sure that I've got a stocked fridge with any like food or drinks that I need. Now, as I said, we're doing a takeaway tonight so that I don't have to actually cook anything before people get here, which saves me a lot of stress. But drinks, actually I'm doing all right for drinks. I've got more drinks for the boys. I know the boys prefer beer. And so I've actually got quite a lot of beer. Good for you boys. I don't actually have any Prosecco and us girls really like to start with Prosecco, you know, but it's checking you've got things like mixer. So I've got a load of tonic water. I've got a load of soda water. It's making sure that you've got limes and lemons for if anybody wants gin and tonics. I've also then got this bar, which I just always try and keep pretty well stocked with the classics. So up here, I've got all my glasses for if we decide we want to start going down the cocktail route, which I don't think we will today. Um, and then I've got some of my slightly prettier tumblers I have on display. And then in terms of spirits, I then basically keep this nicely stocked with all the goodies that we might need to make some cocktails. And I am very excited for when the winter cocktails start because this white chocolate liqueur thing is absolutely divine when you kind of make like white chocolate espresso martinis and we get into the real wintry cocktails. It is incredible. I usually also have during the winter and Christmas season this stocked with some kind of lovely whiskey. So I will stock that up again now that we are entering the winter season. The next key thing is to have glasses for everybody like ready to go. So I'm gonna actually have to take these ones because yesterday, <coughs> my last couple of red wine glasses that are normally like i usually just leave these ones permanently on display but my last couple of red wine glasses smashed which was very disappointing i don't know what my dishwasher does to them but as you can see these are filthy because they sit out on display um and they're lovely i really love them but because they're so lovely i leave them on display instead of using them which means that i'm going to need to use them today so i'm going to give them a clean and then i've got up here my white wine glasses, which if everyone wants red, then we're gonna just have to double up because I've only got four red wine glasses. Well, actually I do have five. I think I've got one left from the odd set. And then I've got my um, Prosecco flutes or champagne flutes up here. So I basically like to give all of my glasses a bit of a dust so that they're all ready. So when people walk through the door, we can pour them a drink straight away. And I'm going to defy one of my rules of having things stocked. And I'm gonna text the girls and say, can they please bring some Prosecco because I don't have Prosecco at the moment, but I've got everything else. Okay, let's get these glasses cleaned so they're all ready for when everyone arrives, which is probably, God, in literally about 10 minutes. 
Okay, so actually, before I clean the glasses, because I can kind of be doing that when people arrive, if necessary, one area that I think sometimes people really neglect when it comes to hosting is the bathroom. So in the bathroom, it's some of just like the basic things, like making sure that you've got toilet paper stocked, making sure that you've got plenty of hand wash and hand lotion. I leave these ones out all the time, but I think it's really nice if you do have kind of everyday hand soap and then slightly nicer hand soap to get out, slightly nicer hand soap that's maybe a bit pricier for when people come around. So at the moment, I've got the White Company Fig Tree hand wash and hand lotion, as you can see. We do not get through very much hand lotion. <laughs> um, I've never really struggled with dry hands, but anyway, so having that out, making sure that the sink's all clean, making sure that the mirror's been all nicely cleaned, and just generally making sure that it's nice in here. Sometimes I will light a candle in the bathroom so that the lighting is nice everywhere. Probably not gonna bother with that today because as I said, it was like a chilled evening. I also like to make sure that the um, vibe is slightly nice in my bedroom. So again, that's turning off overhead lighting. I'm just gonna leave one little lamp on. Maybe Rab can sit there and say hello to everybody. They also bring their dogs and sue me, but I really, really don't care about dogs on the bed. I love having dogs on the bed. And so I kind of want when things are a little bit more hectic, there's a slightly cozy space for the dogs to be able to come and lie on the bed. And as you can see, like I've got my blanket out. So um, I've got this blanket cover that's on here. So in my mind, if they did have muddy paws or whatever, which again, I really don't mind, but if they did, I can just scrunch this up and pop it in the wash and they've got like a nice cozy room and baby Rab can keep the dogs company when they wanna come and have a nap in here if it gets a little bit too chaotic in the main room. And then finally, the last thing I do to make sure that my space is ready for hosting is having a couple of free coat hooks. If you don't have hooks, it's just making sure there's a designated space where people can put their coats, especially in the winter when there's kind of scarves and hats and gloves and all the rest of it. So I always like to make sure that my second bedroom is in a pretty nice state so that if people want to come in and chuck things on the bed in the second bedroom, they can. Or before when my second bedroom was an absolute state and I didn't have the hooks up yet, I literally just said that people could pop them on this chair. Um, and then they can just kind of drape it over there. And I mean, it's not the prettiest. At least it gives everybody somewhere to pop their coats. Right, they're gonna be here any second now and our cozy, lovely evening can begin. But before then, I need to get these revolting glasses clean. So they're all ready for everybody's lovely red wine. And I'm also just gonna grab, these ones are clean because to be honest, these go, I use these quite a lot, so they'll be fine. But I'm just gonna give them a quick dust just to make sure, clean these ones up and then we'll all be ready to go. As we get fully into the winter season, I am gonna do some more hosting videos where I actually cook and I do the whole menu. So I can't wait to show you that, but yes, right. Let me quickly sort these glasses out because they're gonna be here any second. Yes. <laughs> Sweetest. 